Hello, I'm Dr. Jenny Ingram, Founder and Medical Director of the Kawartha Center, Redefining Healthy Aging. We are located in a beautiful building in downtown Peterborough. The Kawartha Center supports people facing memory loss, dementia, and related challenges through expert diagnoses coupled with compassionate care. Healthy aging is very possible when we work together. We are also a clinical research site for new drugs to treat dementia. What does this mean? Clinical research is medical research that involves people just like you. When you volunteer to take part in clinical research, you help doctors and researchers learn more about the diseases and their effective treatments. All medications that your doctors use today have been rigorously reviewed in clinical drug trials previously for safety and efficacy. Thus, today's clinical trials become tomorrow's standard of care. This improves health care for us all. So why should you participate? Well, people participate in clinical research trials for many reasons. This is the only way we have of testing new treatments. So by participating in these trials, you are paving the way to better outcomes. Many families involved in clinical trials find the enhanced monitoring of their health very reassuring. Our professional clinical trial staff, specially trained in senior care and dementia, are often cited by families for exceptional care and attention. Participation in a clinical trial allows you to help others while also helping yourself. Because of people just like you who volunteered to be part of clinical trials, we have extremely effective treatments for many conditions, such as cancer and COVID-19. Through research in the 1990s, we now have four approved medications to slow the progression of dementia. At the Kawartha Center, our clinical trial program is focused on emerging treatments for Alzheimer's disease and other dementias. We are a member of C5R, the consortium of Canadian Centers for Clinical Cognitive Research. We are a respected partner of national and international organizations committed to healthy aging and, and advances in treating age-related illness. All clinical trials are approved by Health Canada and have strict safety and delivery oversight. Each trial has specific eligibility criteria. We are seeking individuals who have a diagnosis of mild cognitive impairment or a diagnosis of early dementia due to Alzheimer's disease. You can participate if you do not have a formal diagnosis, but have concerns about your memory, or if you have a strong family history of Alzheimer's disease. You can call our office without a referral if this is of interest. As a clinical trial participant, you must be in reasonably good physical health and unfortunately, we cannot accept participants over the age of 90. In addition, you need to have a family member or close friend who can act as a study partner and come with you to most appointments. There is no cost to participate in a clinical research trial. Reimbursement is available for reasonable travel expenses, even if incurred in coming to your appointments with us. You will be carefully monitored throughout the trial with regular appointments and assessments to test memory and mood. You will also have the benefit of undergoing observational brain imaging, such as MRIs and PET scans, 
depending on what the trial specifies. Many of our trial participants take comfort in knowing that they have the most rigorous diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease available today and access to leading edge therapies being developed. Participating in a clinical trial is a way to make your, to make your mark on the future. As one of our Kawartha Center clinical trial participants said, the research we are supporting today may help find a cure for Alzheimer's disease and that might mean my children and my grandchildren would, would not have to worry. If you are interested in learning more, you can contact us. Our number is displayed on the screen. 749-3906 extension 211 and our email is there as well research at kawarthacenter.com we do have a website and we would love to talk to you about your concerns and discuss how you can help advance the treatment of memory disorders and dementias